Ja, willkommen zu der Freezer Room in der Kalkbreite. This is a very modern building for people in the middle of Zurich. And uh, now it is the ideal place to separate the wax from the larvas and pupas of the honeybees. And Lolo, of course, is with me. He's very well equipped with handkerchiefs and a cap with uh, a light also. And tools to knock out the larvas from the cell. This is really nice. I am really jealous that you have this piece of tool. That's great. You can repair your car and separate rocks from these also. Yeah. Now how do you do Don't hesitate to hit hard because the larvas and pupas they won't break. But as you will see, the wax will break and the little pupal skin around the pupas also will break. And that's the perfect way to separate the wax from the larvas and pupas. Don't forget to use a real good plastic freezer bag because if you just use a normal bag with plastic it will break uh, if it's frozen and then you have all the particles of the plastic bag in your fibra. That's what you don't people that's what you don't want to have. Now perfect. And then comes out sieving. The seeding of them? Yeah. Very good. Wow, now, now I really have cold hands. Wow. Ah. Minus 20 here, so that's a real adventure. <laughs> Especially in summer when you come in, it's a bit easy. Yes, great. So. Perfect. Look, practically. 90% of your work finished, you just sieve out the wax, then you rem rem remove the big parts uh, of the wax from hand, and yeah, if there's a little wax with it, that's not a big problem, uh, but of course it would be best to keep out all the wax material by rubbing with the hand over it one time or two, yeah, thank you. Wow, <laughs> it's real cold here. <laughs> Whoa, I'm on Mount Everest. <laughs> I freeze my fingers. All right. Ready? Yeah. Good. All right. Look how beautiful. All the, all the work separated. Not all, but biggest part of it separate from the larvas and football. That's how we want to have it and keep it. So that's the whole job. Um, of course you can do that also inside of a house, but if it's too warm, the larvas will thaw and then um, suddenly they melt to a kind of a of a fluid and that's very bad because then you cannot process them anymore in your kitchen. So thanks for watching.